Hi, Garden City High School. I am Ms. Hamlin Deloach, the Health Academy Counselor. I am here today though on behalf of all of the Academy Counselors as we are getting ready to start the course selection process with you. We're super excited. This is the time of year where we get to meet and see what your goals are for after Garden City High School, as well as what your graduation requirements are still in need of. This is an exciting time. However, we do need to make sure that you are aware that this process is different than what actual enrollment is. Course selection is what you will do with us as counselors, where we get your interest in what classes that you wanna take next year. This is different from enrollment. This is where your parent or guardian works with USD 457 to make sure that you have enrolled to attend this school. So it's a little bit of a difference. Course selection is just a little bit more independent with us. Here on our campus, you'll work with us as counselors. Enrollment will require your parent or guardian to go online, come to the high school main office or to the event in the summer that's usually hosted at Forest Good to make sure that you are fully enrolled and can attend the school. So just please be aware of the differences. If you have any questions on course selection, we as your counselors can help you. If you have any questions on enrollment, please see your academy secretary as they will be able to help you with it too. The academy counselors are listed here. Every student in the high school is assigned to one of them. In the upperclassmen world, we have Mrs. Ming in public service, Mr. Fisher in arts and comm, Mr. Alvarez in trade, and again myself here in yellow with health. Ms. Dennis is assigned to all of the freshmen. She will be working with the current eighth graders to get them in, uh, through their course selection for next year. And then at the end of February, all of the freshmen will be assigned to one of us in the upper academy counseling sections. It's super important during this time that you're prepared, informed, and that you ask questions. Being prepared means knowing the schedule of events, to know which day you're involved in, because we are doing certain things by grade and other things by academy designation. There is a schedule here. The schedule has also been emailed out, okay? So like for example, here's the current 11th grader schedule, current 10th grade, current 9th, current 8th. Other important information like optional parent sessions, okay? And our contact information. This has been emailed to you, which will be really important to make sure that you're checking. And we'll talk about that on the next slide. If you miss one of our events, okay, like for example, if you're a sophomore, uh, several of you will be gone for singing Valentine's during your uh, allotted academy time. Just make sure you work with your assigned academy counselor to get it made up. You also need to be sure that you're communicating with your teachers on what you either need to turn in or what you need to make up because you will be missing several class periods during this process. Also, you should be doing this every day so that you are more effective in the classroom, but for sure, we need you charging your iPad every night. We need you in these course selection events with a charged iPad. We need you to do periodic shutdowns and restarts. Just make sure your iPad is healthy and you need to be operating on the latest iOS. If you're concerned about that, make sure you see the sysops just so that your iPad is at full potential for this process. If you're not exactly sure, especially in yellow, who you are assigned to as an academy, like which counselor, look for the advisor name listed in your Skyward profile. That will give you a heads up on who you will be working with. We need you to stay informed. You need to check your GCHS email at least twice a day. And the huge big thing here, it's not just this that we email about course selection. It's everything like driver's ed. Are you interested in playing softball? Are you interested in going to prom? There's, pro there's just so many emails every day. When you're a senior, this is huge because that's how scholarships are sent out. So you've got to check this. The other thing though, you do not have an email address at gs.gckschools.com. That is not real. Do not write that down on anything. It's not real. Your correct email address is your Skyward username at student.gckschools.com. That is your email address. 
If you cannot open up and read the emails on the email app on your iPad, then you need to get the settings fixed. The directions are listed here, and if you need assistance, please go see the sysops. You should begin checking this email at least twice a day. And be sure to ask questions. There's almost 2,000 kids at any given time working on the course selection process, and we want to make sure we give you what you individually need. So talk to your counselor, talk with your parent guardian, talk with your teachers, ask them, hey, I'm in English, should I do honors next year? Hey, I'm in this elective, what's my next elective in this pathway? Ask, 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 ask some more. Anyone and anyone, anywhere, we are all here to help you. The first big thing when it comes to this whole process is we need to ensure that we are placing you in the classes that will allow you to graduate on time, if not early, from Garden City High School. You can graduate as early as junior year in May, in December as a senior, or in May as a senior. It just depends on your individual plan, but the big thing is you have to have these graduation requirements met. There are 24 credits in these given areas, computer, fine arts, language arts, oral communication, math, physical education, science, social studies, and electives. Everything goes somewhere. You must pass a course at 60% or higher in order for it to count on this credit check. This is checked three times a year at the end of each grading cycle, January for the fall semester, June for the spring semester, and August for the summer. Be sure we will be working with you and we'll be providing you with a copy, but you make sure that you are working hard and striving to earn that credit because each class is half credit. So you're all enrolled in seven, maybe eight. If you pass seven classes, that's three and a half credits. We need to keep you on track to graduate with your cohort group. Pass with 60% and there'll never be any worries. When you're working with your uh, counselor on your course selection, you're going to also be with the course description guide. It's going through and just making sure that you are not only choosing a class of interest, but also that will meet the requirements. Like for example, this is the list of fine arts requirements. Additionally, when you're choosing what classes you would like to consider for next year, some of you might be a uh, college prep looking for qualified admissions because you do plan to go to college after Garden City High School. Some of you might be anticipating the Kansas Scholars Curriculum, the most rigorous offered in the state, and also with awards that are attached to it. Some of you may be looking at NCAA because you're hoping to be recruited at a D1, D2 level. And some of you are interested in pursuing career and technical education. There are 16 pathways, including restaurant, business, power and structure, health science, anything that's working here at our school, with especially in the elective worlds, there's always something else that you might be able to take. So it's really important that you're not only just looking at graduation requirements, but what type of additional curriculum may be the right fit for you. We also encourage you to be mindful of your GPA, okay? Again, 60% to earn the credit, but then after that, your GPA is looked at. Every A is worth four, every B is three, C is two, D is one, and F is zero points. That's how we end up with your cumulative GPA. Ways that this can also affect you in your, in your course selection is if you choose to take index courses. Index courses are the more challenging academic choices, and if you earn an A or a B, you will see a boost in your indexed weighted GPA. Additionally, dual credit classes through Garden City Community College are options for those of you once you're in the 10th grade. There's more for 11th and 12th, but this is where they start to have the discussion. Do you want to take and pay for classes at the college level? Please, please, please work with your counselor and with your family to make sure that these are the right fit for you. Not only are they more rigorous, but there is some sort of cost, tuition fee or simply even the gas that it's going to take to get to some of those classes. We offer some here, but some are off campus. So please, it's a big decision and make sure you have all of the information you need to make the best choice. Now, if you are a current junior, 
Current juniors, if you are interested in English and or math at the college level, you do have to have a placements test and you have to meet a particular score. We have emailed this out to you. It looks like this, GCCC college classes in your senior year. And then this uh, also has just more details. Again, current junior, English or math, this is something that you have to look into. Now with the course selection guide, this is our book of all the potential classes that we would like to offer here at Garden City High School. Now keep in mind, you're gonna work with your counselor to make sure you're meeting graduation requirements, the additional curriculum options. Uh, you're gonna check with your teachers on their advice, like to honors or not, to dual credit or not, uh, which elective is next. Uh, but the thing is too, is that there are a lot of options, a lot of options here at Garden City High School. But there are some unfortunate factors that may reduce the likelihood of you getting into the class. If we don't have enough students, for example, that sign up, or we don't have the teacher to teach it, um, that's why we start this process now. We get all of the data, all of these requests, so that we can see if we can make it happen, because we really want to, okay? So we have the course selection toolbox, and what this is, it is a Google folder, okay? that we have created and that we have sent out, okay, in this link that provides all of the options of different uh, aspects of the course selection process. So for example, there's a promotional materials folder. These are the programs that would love for you to join them. So they have details within each one or applications, but the big one is this README in the course descriptions part, okay? In the upperclassmen world where we are at, this is the guide that will let you know what we're offering in the core content and elective options, okay? Electives range in these categories here. We have dual credit, again, the index to boost the indexed uh, or weighted GPA, okay? Now, again, here's the credit checks. We're going through each guide, each part, each page and it will describe the class, okay? That's what we're looking at. So we'll look at the grad requirements and we'll look at your goals and we will put down requests. Now that's what is important when it comes to that guide, okay? Because it is knowing what is the key information about to do, okay? There is names, course numbers, prerequisites. There's different things that are happening in that book, okay? So like, for example, you can't sign up for culinary arts if you haven't had the prereq. Culinary arts has a prereq. However, computer graphics doesn't. It doesn't have anything listed there. So that's why that's super important um, to make sure that you are going through the guide and having an understanding of what it is that you want to request because we want to try and get that built into your schedule for you. Okay. So this toolbox is super important. Okay. It has everything in there that I was showing you. It has applications. If you're interested in Stuco, it has the testing information. It'll have the course selection forms. It's just a way to have all the documents located in one place, including uh, this PowerPoint. As a follow-up here on the mentoring assignment, uh, you will be going to your school email and completing a Google form survey that was emailed that says course selection follow-up. You will need to do that. Your mentor teachers will be checking. Okay, so make sure that you get that done at the conclusion of this video. So again, uh, we are here as your academy counselors to help you with the course selection process. Uh, send any questions. Our emails are there. You can stop by our offices and just rely on to, okay, making sure that you are looking through the course selection, meeting up with us, and if you're not able to attend, we'll work together to get you caught up. Okay, again, we're excited about the process and see you all soon.